what is the logic of take profit you know i see a lot of people use uh, a lot of people using take profit wrong where they still trade after they take profit is hit right if you were take profit is hit why are you looking for a trade you know what is the logic of take profit take profit basically means where you think after that specific price point like after you know i'm just making a reasoning right it's just like after let's just say we're a bullish side right let's just say after they take profit is hit right I'm expecting, I'm, I'm expecting more bearish side movie, right? So, just like example, that's, that, that example is not a good example, by the way, right? So, a take profit is meant where you think where the price, when the market reaches that price point, you know, where you think market will reverse, right, against you. So, when the market reaches that price point is where you cash out, right? But a lot of people, when they do do take, they do, when they do hit the take profit, and but they still manage to trade afterward, right? You're not meant to be trading after you, you take profits hit, right? Because why? Because let's just say sometimes your direction of bias might change and then you might be correct, right? But usually most of the time people when they have their take profit and said they sell profit gets hit and they're still looking for let's just say at this time at this you know saying but it could be vice versa, right? Let's just say they're bullish, right? So let's just say I'll take profit gets hit and a boss of liquidity, right? And the market goes at price point. That after that price point is where we think the market might draw back down, you know what I'm saying? But we're still looking for still we're still looking for buys. So that might create more of a manipulation where we might take dumb trades afterward. Afterward, I'll take profit. Say I our ideal take profit is where after this price point, like it like you no, know, this is an example, right? After this after this this hit, I'm not I'm I'm not gonna be looking for no more trades. If it hit if it goes if I go if I gain a trade while that while the price point is going to that, you know, say my take profit, right? So I'm riding with I'm riding with the market so that my take profit is where after that word I'm not be I'm not gonna be looking for trades because I took my trade for the day, right? But a lot of people still tend to take trades to the same direction of bias after the take profit say where you know saying where the market should be reversing because why? Because you take profit, right? Is where the take profit the, the meaning is it is where you cash out over there, right? Because why do you cash out over there? Because where you, that's where you think the market might reverse to the downside or upside, depending on your bias, right? So a lot of times when people do get in a trade, let's just say the market goes down to this low, right? Let's just say the market goes down to this low, right? A lot of people will still be looking for shorts. Let me just say sometimes once the market does go down here, this is liquidity. Market needs to do more up moving before going back down, right? So that's what I'm saying. So once the market goes down there, you either cash out, or if the market does he does a huge move down to the downside, eventually it could hold. But it all depends. So when you guys do take profit, make sure you're using it right. Make sure you are not you know, say trading afterward because that's your ideal goal you want to go for. You know, saying so that's the ideal goal you want to be aiming for for the day. So after after that price point, you don't want to be in the market anymore. You know, saying so after he after reaches that price point with you or without you, you want to be going no more because you know, so that that's your ideal point you want to be trading too after that you don't want to be trading because that's where you think the market might go reverse against you or and take you out right so you want to avoid middle placing so when the market goes there it takes out the high or low that's where you want to be watch out because at that price point is where the market might create manipulation so your trades might be a manipulative trade where let's just say you were right but market had to take you out for liquidity gather more liquidity to the downside depending if you're a bullish Take it, take out, do a like a little bit more deeper retracement, and basically go back to your bias. But guess what? At that time, you got stopped out because your ideal take profit already got hit, so the market should be reversing, right? So yeah, that's the logic of take profit, where you're, where the market, after reaching that price point, where you think, you no, know, say the objective, where you think the price point, well, after it reaches that price point, market should be reversing, right? So there's an ideal i think i'm saying it right there's a there's the logic of take profit so after you take profit say i usually don't know i don't attend to trade because you know that's my ideal goal for the day that's where i want to go and if the market goes there without me or with me after that i'm done because i'm gonna come after market recap right i'm just go after the market like i see okay what happened after it hit my take profit what the market do because usually what happens what i tend to happen when the market gets hit it does hit my i'll take, I'll take profit market does tend to go reverse against us so this is what we want to do is next time be smarter you take profit rate and do not trade afterwards because manipulation you know market might take you out eventually let's just say you are still right you're still thinking the market will still go up higher right you might still go up higher but 
Market might need to do a little bit more retracement before going back up higher. So market might need might need to take you out. Because if you don't get in the right time, market will possibly take you out. Get you a good entry. But guess what? Sometimes most of the people will I mean most people take it. I mean I, I tend to take only one trade per session, right? Per session or per day. But yeah, that is it, you know. The, what the, that that's the logic of take profit. And yeah, you just want to be using the take profit, right? Do not trade afterward. And just call it a day. Once you take profit, you can say what's your ideal point where you think the market might reverse against you. If it, if it gets hit with you or without you, just call it a day. Just come back. You know, saying after after you don't come back, see what happened after the market. And yeah, you could tell what happened because you know, saying the session ended. Now you can see what happened before, not what happened during that time. And yeah, so I usually I tend to do. But yeah, you see. What I thought today at London session where the price point did the retracement to the you know order block and breaker block. And I thought the next round liquidity would be the another drone liquidity. That's why I thought that next once the market goes below this low or these low, right? Or these low where market will tend to go back up higher. But guess what? Market went to this four hour one hour only for five gap. This right here should have been my deal goal, right? But market really didn't do a retracement right back down because market already filled the fervag up in oh already because market has not need to fill the fervag up again because he already got filled right so market just you know tend to go up higher so let's talk about where the same reason right my ideal goal already got hit which is the only fervag up right that's my ideal goal where i wanted to go for sell movement right this is right here a perfect example of you know, i'm saying i just said do not trade if you take probably gets hit this is right here i just told you like perfect example right my ideal goal was where this fair buy gap right this other sell side right here this other fair buy gap right and this liquidity right with the first fair buy gap here this side this right here has a lot of power because it's the higher time frame higher power right and it's you know what I'm saying going with the daily drawn liquidity because they're doing is bullish right so what you can see right over here this right here after the take profit hit this this take this take profit got hit without me right so now I should have been more careful and not taking a trade but i thought the market would have gone lower but guess what sometimes market might need to take you out you know what I'm saying we might be right next time market might do a retracement right back down here but guess what that's what i'm saying time the market because now i became liquidity market took me out market might move back down lower to take more liquidity before going back up higher that's what it looks like it to me right now personally then eventually go lower but that said that's, that's literally the perfect example don't trade after you take profit you say because that's what i that's what i thought right over here after this after the provide gives hit is where i think market would have gone reverse against me and guess what the market did went against me boom so that's actually the perfect example right over there and i thought the market went lower okay he respected it fully respectation that means more bullish movement and you can see what the market doing recently you know going on daily time frame so the liquidity for a time frame so a lot of liquidity right so you gotta think about it that was more of my ideal goal to go when i'm saying where i thought after this take profit gets hit market should give us more you know saying reverse reverse against us or give us more bullish movement to the upside and guess what the market just did give us more bullish to the upside so this right here would have been one of my ideal goals for a take profit but you know what i'm saying i told you time the market and do not trade after you take profit gets hit where you i think the market will reverse against you and this is where I thought the market would uh, reverse against me, right? So it did eventually, boom, took us out. So perfect example. And yeah, this is what is the logic of take profit.